couple of days ago, I was at Wendy's and I go to the drive thru and there's a guy there. And I don't listen. I'm not about calling people out. And I'm not about uh, what. Well, yeah, I am about calling people out. I'm not about outing people is what I'm what I'm trying to say. But there's a guy there. I swear, girl, homosexual. When I say vibes, he has like homosexual vibology. I felt it. I always feel it. But he's always on his game and she's always kind of like looking out the window. It's one of those ones where you drive up and the window's kind of high. So they already are like looking at you like that, right? So I go to this Wendy's all the time because they never fuck up. It's always great. So in this case, I went through and I ordered for three different people. Um, and then at the end of it, I go, oh, I've got to add on that 10-piece nugget. So the, I said, can I please add on a 10-piece spicy nugget? And the guy says, yeah, absolutely. Uh, one more time, was it the four-piece, the six-piece, or the 10-piece? I said, it's the 10-piece. He said, would you like sauce? I said, I would like barbecue sauce. He said, does that complete your order? I said, yes, that completes my order. And then I drove up. So I get to the window, and then there's a lady there. And she tells me, your total is $7,000.42 for three people. So I hand her my card and she hands me the receipt and the card and the beverages. And she says, I'll be right back with your order. And she closes the window halfway. And I'm looking at the receipt and I say, you know what? I can see that they haven't written the nuggets down. So I'm thinking, and this is my anxiety, right? Like, because I know that I already seem obtuse by constantly asking for what it is that I paid for. And I know I'm going to have to end up sharing this. So I'm like, make this right, make this proper. So I thought, put the ball in your court. It's in her court, but put it in your court. So I said, excuse me. And she opens up. She goes, yeah. And that's already. Yeah. Like when your mouth is open, I already know you're a primate. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. So she's like, yeah. And I said, I didn't pay for the nuggets. And I just wanted to go ahead and let you know that I didn't pay for them. And I want to pay for them. That way, if they end up in the bag, I just don't want anyone to get in trouble. Now, that was my nice way of saying someone didn't put that on the receipt. I didn't pay for it. And somewhere along the line between the presumed homosexual and the primate chola that came to me, there was a miscommunication somewhere. Not a big deal. She goes, what nuggets? And then I thought, all right, strike two. Ball still in my court. What am I going to do here? And I thought, I've had it. <laughs> I've, I've, th today I've had it. Like, I, don't, I don't need that. And I said, the nuggets that I ordered that were confirmed at the screen. And she goes, you didn't order no nuggets. I said, I did order nuggets, but if you didn't write them down, can I order them again? And she closes the window halfway and I hear the homosexual go, is everything cool? And she goes, no, now they want to add food. And I had said, excuse me, excuse me. I put my hand like this, excuse me. And I already knew Suzanne Sugarbaker was coming through. My ancestors are behind me. Here comes Suzanne Sugarbaker. Here comes a uh, fucking... Uh, fried green tomatoes. Like everybody's back there. Dixie Carter is on my shoulders. And I said, woo, excuse me. And she goes, yeah. I said, I'm not adding food. I am telling you that somewhere between the two of you, the brain cells did not unite to honor what I fucking ordered. But I'm being nice about it because I know a lot of people are shitty and you've had two opportunities to be nice and now you're not being nice. So now I'm going to be meaner than you. I'm not adding food on. I wouldn't do that. I personally think that's a shitty thing to do. And still she's like, no, nah, they want to add food. Oh, bitch. I ought to grab you through the window, pull you into the car, roll the window up so just your head is in there and fucking drive away into the night. That's what I want to do. That's what I really, really want to do. Just to set an example for the world. 